My name is Jean Cropper from Paper and Pixel. This is a hands-on activity focusing on one area of science, biology, and building skills in a specialized area of engineering. Students will be learning fine motor skills and visualizing in three dimensions. These skills are needed in many careers, such as mechanic, architect, and a research scientist. This is one STEM-based activity out of a set of 10 hands-on activities available as an online course to schools. Each activity has STEM content, that is science, technology, engineering, and maths. Okay, to start, download and print out the A4 template on the link below, one for each student. It can be in black and white or color. This is what the template looks like. Students will be making this into a common brown butterfly. Here's the completed project. I will show you how to make this. There's a printed instruction sheet for those who want it. Students will need scissors, colored markers, and a glue stick or sticky tape. When you print out the template, look at the printer's paper tray. Check that the guides are pressed against the stack of paper. This holds the paper straight when it feeds into the printer. It's important that the template is printed straight. Have you ever been outside, perhaps in summer, and had something fluttering catch your eye? Then looked around and seen a butterfly? Butterflies are insects, and they come out during the day. Moths are nocturnal. That means they come out at night. In this activity, I'll show you how to make a sculpture of a common brown butterfly using paper engineering skills. They're found along the east coast of Australia, from Brisbane to Adelaide, in Tasmania, and on the southwest tip of Western Australia. They like forests, woodlands, and are seen in cities too. There's a good possibility you can see them near you. The scientific name is Heteronympha merope. They hatch in October or November. The females are 70 millimeters across, live three to four months, then lay their eggs on grasses in early March. The males have a shorter life and are smaller at 60 millimeters wingspan. Okay, let's begin. Okay, these are the finished pieces for the common brown butterfly, so you can see what it looks like. This is all colored in, and a little three-dimensional sculpture piece. Okay, we start with the template, and it's for making two, and we start with it blank side up and fold it in half short ways. So fold it over and match the corners. Then hold with one hand, run a finger trip across to the center here and crease it down and crease it up. Go over it with a fingernail and crease it quite hard so it's a really crisp uh, fold there. Okay, we turn it and then fold it this way. Match your corners, again, hold with one hand, run a fingertip over to the fold in the center and crease it down and crease it up. Go over it with the fingernail. Okay, next we'll take the scissors and we're going to cut along this wide green line, all along here and at the base. It's easiest if you open your scissors nice and wide and work from the outside of the template. and cut up to the red line, but not over it. Okay, good. And then cut down by the antenna. There you go, good. And then turn it and cut along the base of the um, wings here. And again, up to the red line, but not across it. Okay, and the last cut is between the two antennae. Okay, good. Okay, we'll work on them one at a time now. Okay, we'll fold right along here in a, a V beside the body. So we'll fold that over and then crease it. And then turn it, fold it the other way and crease it that way as well. Hear that? Okay, and flatten it out again. Then we're folding along this red line. 
and crease it with your fingernail and fold it the other way and crease it again. Okay, and then open it out flat. Okay, and then color it in and you can look at uh, photos of the common brown butterfly and it ends up something like that. You can make your own variations of it, so that's good. Okay, and then we'll pick it up and just pinch the base together like this and we wanna push in at the base of the wings and just fiddle with it to get the body pointing upwards. The wings go down in and then pinch it together here and just crease it with a fingernail again. So it's all lying flat there. Okay, so you've got your three-dimensional butterfly and then you've got two long strips of the base. We want to attach those together to make the piece stand as three-dimensional. You can staple it or use sticky tape or use glue stick. I'm gonna use a glue stick. We can use the scrap bit of paper from before that we cut out. Just need to glue one side. Attach those two. Just burnish it down. And there you go with your completed butterfly. All done.